Hey there, I'm Dasha, creative team leader from the publishing team in Supersonic, and we are ready to share with you the best cases, the best practices for your initial prototype test. So let's get started. Gameplay is a key. Focus and clarity of gameplay. The game's mechanic, control, and goal should be clear within the first five, seven seconds of your video, because we don't have much time to explain to users what's going on in our creatives. So we just need to start our gameplay immediately. Use natural speed. Don't make your gameplay too fast or slow, because users may fail to catch the main mechanic of your game if the speed isn't natural. Try different gameplay scenarios in your videos. Yeah, we all know that fail situations work really well in hyper-casual games, but don't forget about testing wins as well. And also try showing different levels, the easy one and the challenging one. And the bonus tip, the more emotions you emphasize, the better. And also add a hand pointer if the control isn't clear. It's mostly relevant for puzzle games, and runners don't usually require additional hand pointer because users can read our mechanic easily. Make sure that you have good contrast between key elements, such as your main character, platform, background, obstacles, and enemies. And at the same time, use simple associations. For example, red, enemies, or obstacles just to highlight the danger. And let's finish up with a color. Use bright cartoonish colors to reach a broader audience. The next is character place. Make sure your character in the playable zone, which is means under the user's finger. And regarding platform size, follow this ratio for the platform that holds the game's main actions. Gameplay two thirds of the video and background one third. Just uh, take a look at the right example. The previous tip is also works here. The character in the playable zone and the gameplay takes two thirds of the videos. Uh, let's kick off with the do's and don'ts. We don't recommend to start your creatives with the instruction text like tap to play or drag and move. Uh, as we mentioned before, we don't have much time to explain to users uh, our gameplay. So instead of it, start gameplay immediately. We also don't recommend to add irrelevant real videos or pictures in your creatives, especially for initial testing, because it can affect our results and you can get the full one. And also just start gameplay immediately. Uh, we also don't recommend to use effects like black and white, sepia, and color inversion. Instead of it, keep good contrast between key elements. And here is another example, just kind of a reminder to you that we should use bright cartoonish color in our creatives. And let's dive into advanced tip. The first one, try different camera angles. Make sure that the different camera angles provides users with a new experience while the main mechanic is still clear. And here another example. Uh, it is the same game, but actually all of these three videos looks totally different because the different camera angle provide us with new feelings, with new experience. And advanced tip number two, test different cartoonish exams. Try to test significantly different variables, which is also can pro provide users with a new experience. It could be natural sky or a city, forest, desert, and you also could try a close environment like a room. At the same time, try to avoid noisy environment because we still should keep focus on gameplay. And we also just notice that SkyFi and Space Amps don't usually work well for a broader audience. So just keep it in mind. And let's sum up. Focus on clarity of gameplay, use natural speed, try different gameplay scenarios, add a hand pointer if you need it, keep good contrast between key elements, use simple associations, use bright cartoonish colors, 
place your character in the playable zone and the platform size should be two thirds of the video. Don't start your creatives with the text instruction and don't use any kind of effects. And if you'd like to make more videos, use our advanced tips. The first one, try a different camera angle and test different cartoonism. That's it. I hope that it will help you to produce a well-performed videos for your initial test. Looking forward for your remarkable results and wish you the lowest CPI. See ya!